Mike Bolton with the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, keeper of the Stanley Cup. Well, this is the official Stanley Cup here. This is the one that goes on the ice. It started off as a goal back in 1893. First awarded to the Montreal Amateur Athletic Association in 1893. And some of the neat things about the Stanley Cup is you get your name on the Stanley Cup. Not just the team name, but all the players that have won it over the years. Uh, one of the things we do is we take a band off every 13 years. This top band will come off in 10 years from now, go into the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, move everything up and put a new ring on the bottom. We've got 10 years left in the bottom. Uh, the most recent teams going on the bottom, the Anaheim Ducks being our most recent winner back in, 2000, in June of 2007. Uh, there's some great character flaws on the Stanley Cup, like names spelled wrong. Uh, right off here, the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's Toronto Maple Leafs. That's an E instead of an F. That's in 1962-63. In uh, 1972, the Boston Bruins, which is uh, over on this side here, Got yeah, to come around to the back here. I'll, I'll turn it for you. That's, those are Q's. That's B Q S T Q N. And then in 8081, the New York Islanders. Uh, New York Islanders, right here. Now, that's they left out the S and Islanders. The band is kind of sliding down a little bit there, but that uh, left out the S and Islanders. And I guess the biggest character flaw on the Stanley Cup is right here in 1984. Peter Pocklin put his father's name on the Stanley Cup. And uh, his father had nothing to do with the team, so they exited out. So there's a bunch of X's going across the name in 1984. Was he the person who exited out? No, he, uh, the NHL. The uh, NHL exited out. Out. But, but the, the company that actually engraves it, Boffy Silversmith, is actually the one that did the actual exiting. But the NHL is the one that said you cannot put someone's name on the cup unless you're part of the organization. It weighs 35 pounds, stands 34 and a quarter inches tall, uh, made of 97% silver, 3% nickel. Um, what else can I tell you about it? It's been all over the world. Uh, it's been as far as Japan, Russia, Sweden, Finland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Ukraine, Belarus, Switzerland, Germany, Italy. Uh, it's been to Afghanistan, mm -hmm. coast to coast in the United States and coast to coast in Canada. It's been in the Bahamas and Mexico also. My favorite trip, I don't know, I have a few of them, but I guess uh, most recently when, we, when the cup went over to Afghanistan to, uh, as a morale booster with uh, the troops that are over there. and It was incredible to, to be in the middle of the war zone with the Stanley Cup, which just it was a neat experience uh, to see the smiles and joy it brought to the troops over there doing an incredibly tough job. Uh, we work in the world of fun and to, to go over and be a part of something that's very serious and, and you know involves everybody in the world uh, was really neat. And again, the morale that the Stanley Cup and the NHL players that went over brought to the troops was absolutely incredible. So again, that, to be a part of that, that was neat. Jay Feaster, uh, who's a general manager of the Tampa Bay Lightning, took it to um, uh, Kennedy Space Center and uh, Stanley Cup got to go right outside the space shuttle. We got to go on the space shuttle. That was a neat experience. And then to be around the players, any player, coach, general manager, to be around them when they first win it for the very first time is, is, is just a neat experience to sit back, watch them enjoy it with their family and friends and, uh, and just to bring it home and share it with people. It's just, a, it's just really neat to see. Uh, as a player, the player that's on there the most is Henri Richard. He's on there 11 sure? times. Jean Belleville is on there 17 times. He won it 10 times as a player and seven as different management roles with Montreal Canadiens. The, the replica stays on display at the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, mm -hmm. along with the original bowl at Lord Stanley. This is not the original bowl. The original bowl got retired off of this in the mid-60s, mm -hmm. and that is also in the Hall of Fame in the Great Hall in the Stanley Cup vault, where the retired rings also go to. And is there an authentication uh, symbol on the... On the bottom here is what you'll see there, the logo, the old Hockey Hall of Fame logo. I don't know if it's upside down or not. All right. And that's, again, you'll see that when the players skate around on the ice with it. This is the one that goes on the ice. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.